And boa noite todos. Welcome back to Tom Plays Europe Universalized 4 for Absolute Beginners. We are back with Portugal. I'm just uh, facing the <laughs> aftermath of far too many wars last time. But yeah, hopefully we're going to build our money back up. Obviously, it's still going with the colonising. I would like to build an army down in Africa, if at all possible. But other than that, we should mostly be recovering. Our manpower is still not at full. Oh well, you know, it's getting there. So yeah, first things first, I guess we'll increase the time. diplomats back now. So let's start doing the colonial nations again. From the top. We do actually have extremely good relations with them already. Okay, they're offering an alliance again, so where are they? Kikonja. That's not a good start. I don't think the find has ever let me down before. Am I being ridiculous? Have I missed something? Looks like I've typed it in the same to me. Oh well, need to go worry about the colony first. This is good. What have we got here? They should be protecting Caribbean. Once again, they're not moving, so I'm just going to send them off again. I mean, to me, that sounds African. But that doesn't mean it is. What I should probably do is see if there are any other allies we would like to get. Before I worry about anything else. So. Good grief, the Commonwealth's still in a bad state. So in terms of allies, right, we've got room for two more. So we have a couple of vassals, the Commonwealth and Spain. And those are currently our allies. Naples might be an option. Hemi apparently is not. Ah, because they've rivaled the Commonwealth. Fair enough. Ditto for Russia. So Bohemia might be one of our obvious options. Austria is another possibility. Who are their rivals? Naples, Venice, Provence. That's a possibility. Bohemia doesn't like Austria, or the Commonwealth, or the Ottomans. So we might have been off with Austria simply because Bohemia and the Commonwealth seem to have a bit of an issue. 
it's often better to sort of ally with your allies allies so to speak I see Brittany is nearly dead sorry Brittany okay anyway Navy is looking a little better. But we've still got plenty of room for more ships, so I think we should just build some transports. Currently, merchantmen. Don't take as long to build, thankfully. Maybe build another trade fleet. Can always use trade ships. Right then, okay, so the limit is 36. Assuming we were going to try and make some African. Armies. Let's build some infantry. Slowly catching up on the military, we're still a little ahead, sorry, a little behind Spain, by the look of it. Possibly our other neighbours. So what room do we actually have in terms of military? Not huge amounts. possibly stop there just for the sake of our finances still got a loan to pay off so much as I'd like to build up the army okay right well this one isn't a big problem we can probably just leave it to the colonial nation so that's fine finished improvement of Provence also fine some of these are quite well developed actually Take 36. Okay. So I'm guessing they're up here somewhere. Certainly not planning on doing anything. But we'll just see how it goes. This will be the final colony for that estate, and we can move this group across to work on the Malacas before Spain beats us to it, which means we're going to need our ships. Oh, interesting. So this is actually the Pacific Fleet as well. So that's good. is our more heavy duty Pacific fleet. So let's move this to join the other one. I'm gonna put them together. Okay, cool. Right, so Austria. Spain doesn't hate Austria, do they? Great Britain, France and the Ottomans is who they hate. Okay. I think that still leaves us another 
diplomatic relation. And France has made a colony next to one of ours. Which is interesting. Oh yeah, we can have royal marriages of Austria as well, can't we? That's good. Always a good thing. I'd very much like to know where this French colony is. Ah, there we go. No, we don't. Although possibly it might be one of these in Antilles. So, fair enough, I suppose. Can't be helped. Okay. So we've done those two. I want to improve relations with all vassals. Including colonial nations. So let's just do these. Then go back to um, watching this war, I suppose. National institutions, I'm fine with that. Portuguese Australia we've never taxed before, so I think we can uh, do this one. Right, I'm actually going to go inland and try to cut Spain off <laughs> from going this way. Very cheeky of me, but there you go. It's, I always find this bit a little confusing because there's a dividing line somewhere between California and Mexico and I can very easily find myself developing colonies for both accidentally. So I'm thinking if I try and stay to the north Hopefully we'll get California first and, and get a colonial nation on the way. But we'll see. Might not be onto a winner with the whole... 10 province nation there anyway. We've lost our air, but we've got a new one, so that's good. So one thing you really don't want in a DLC is to end up in a personal union with someone, as in where you're the lesser partner. It's very difficult to get out of it without any of the DLCs. I think don't have an army there. That's in West Africa. Better off settling the issue, I think, trying to. Okay, we'll improve relations with Portuguese Australia. It's taking us into the middle of nowhere. Feeling like we're doing rather a lot of a heavy lifting here. Oh, brilliant. Another benefit for diplomatic relations. Well, we can get a white piece. Doesn't really gain as much though, does it? On the other hand, this is 
is really something we really want to help. Spain with. I don't know, they might be about to make peace anyway and it might just be worth having the boost to our relations with Spain. Okay, so while I'm at it, our other vassals, let's just improve relations with them. Trade fleet, isn't it? These are the transports. So I'm thinking the European fleet at the moment should probably head over to Canada because we're going to need a ship to move our army to the next colony. This group can protect trade. I thought I should put you on severe. Simply because they're a bit more modern than everyone who's currently doing that. Okay, so we've got 14 things. Uh, yes, let us protect mercantilism wherever we can. And I'm going to send you over to the new colony. Yeah, I think we might as well just let this finish. I don't think Spain's going to lose. forces there as well. I don't think it's happening. <laughs> okay, new colonial nation, Lavrador. So I guess I'll just go straight to these two. So yeah, hopefully we can still make 10 provinces out of all this. I'll probably build one province here in the hope that they'll start improving it and then I'll start building down here. We should also subsidize them. I don't know how easily they'll be able to make colonies at all, but just in case they can, to subsidize them anyway. Something else that should allow them to build up some power and finances so that whenever they are able to make colonies they'll be in a position to do so immediately. Is it hope? Okay, yeah I think there's enough of these that our that our Spanish that was pulling out is not going to change the outcome. Well I think about it. This pirate's still here aren't they? Let's combine these fleets. I'm gonna rename it to Armada Pacifico, which probably isn't remotely Portuguese sounding, but you know, I'm trying. And I'm going to send them to this colony, which should mean that they destroy those pirates while they're at it.
walls over. I doubt we gain anything from it, but nonetheless. I suppose if nothing else we at least gained kind of brownie points for being a good ally to Spain. Okay, Lavrador, let's improve relations with them as well. Make sure we stay on good terms of our colonial nations. Gonna improve with Spain. You see we've got a couple of things there on other alliance and fought to the end. But nonetheless, would not hurt. Uh, we can improve with Austria as well. And the Commonwealth, I suppose, and I think that should cover all allies and the vassals. So we can start looking at other people. We still need another ally, potentially. Which will be interesting. Don't go there, actually. Could start making claims on Kilwa. However, what I would like to do first is think about our money. So, ideally, I'd like a workshop. Oh, we have workshops everywhere there. Brilliant. Okay, looks like there aren't that many places where a workshop would actually be valuable. Okay, what about manufactories? We have a surprisingly small number of manufactories in Portuguese lands. Genuinely is quite surprising. Got some quite high value places we can put them in outside of our original nations as well though. So that would be extremely good for our institution. Dear Where exactly is this one? Yes, of course. Oh, it's Cameroon. Right. Okay, well, let's build a manufactory there. Perhaps it's a good place to build one. And it's good to have them spread out in any case because when our manufacturer's institution hits, we should find that it starts everywhere we have a manufactory. Speaking of, we've got a lot of admin power here. We're on plus three stability, so let's start spreading institutions again. So those three are already well on the way. So you might be better off spreading them down in Africa. Let's just go down the coast and do admin power everywhere. Along the coast. it a fair bit. So it's still just spreading, but uh, made some progress at least. I'm kind of thinking it'd be nice to do here as well, if we can. So we'll at some point have all of these nations filled in. We just don't need to hurry because we've cut everyone else off from them. Still got that one as an option, haven't we? Haven't touched it. Okay, not to worry. Let's just leave that for now. 
what should our next move be. Uh, we don't really need forts right now. I'm not entirely sure we want to attack right now either, of course. Which is the other problem. Are there any colonial nations we could theoretically... Not colonial nations, any natives we could theoretically attack? Not with no diplomats, there aren't. Oh, brilliant. We've finished New Zealand. So we've gained the burgers' benefits, which is going to help with our colonisation, which is absolutely fantastic. Definitely what we needed. Looks like Portuguese Australia has started colonising New Zealand, which is great. So that suggests that they will actually make a move. So we can hopefully leave them to it now and start colonising over here. Which, much to my relief, no one else has yet started doing. Bohemia? Jack, do we make an alliance with the wrong person? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's probably a plus. Just kidding, there's uh, not much to be said for the Empire, I don't think. Oh man, yeah, they've got some Imperial... Of well, they probably only had one before then though, didn't they? Right, what are our options? Well, legitimacy we don't really need, so I think diplomatic reputation would be a good one. Mercantilism we can always increase, as long as it's less than 100%, and currently it's only 11%, but it's like the least of our options, certainly unless we're really stuck for money. Let's get diplomatic power. We don't have anything invested to being the next paper controller. So... Just put five percent in. Brilliant. This area could end up being quite interesting as well. Too developed to be vassalised. Might have more luck with some of the smaller countries over there. But for now I think we're going to be looking at conquest. Goes to Sumatra. That isn't Spain, is it? Hopefully not. Still, if it is, we've at least got one colony over there before they did, and probably a more useful one in terms of attacking Malacca. Okay, cool. The lot truces have ended. So there are a bunch of islands around here as well, which people will probably start to gobble up. I usually try and take the whole of Papua, but it depends whether I've worked my way down there by the time they arrive. Hoping this is a sign that Australia is going to spread out in all of these provinces. So they hopefully don't need us anymore. Which is good. Okay, so that's the 13 colonies, which is British. France and Britain are fighting each other by the look of it, which is good news. Can definitely make use of that. So which of these colonies is the weakest? Choctaw or Ottawa? Powhatan. Oh, this is Powhatan. Creek and 
struggling to even see. Okay, well maybe we will start building a spy network over here. Could we vassalize them? I mean, it's possible, but I usually find with the American nations that they end up having an opinion of you. That's just slightly too low. Like, you get this to plus 189 and you're never able to vassalize them. It's very frustrating. So I'm not sure I even want to try it this time. Who was the other ally? Pequot. Okay, Pequot. Where are they? Alright, so they're extremely small. Fair enough. I could still build a smile network though. Who knows, it might even go to Canada if I'm lucky. Probably won't. Yes, let's do something. Okay, and our final spy network can go here. Specific expansion impact gain 20 papal influence. Who don't need the diplomatic relations and probably don't need the aggressive expansion right now, so let's go with this. It means we can get another paper blessing immediately. Really not sure we need the legitimacy. I think that's just going up, so let's improve our mercantilism to 12. Give us a bit more money. Just thinking we need to keep an eye on this. Oh, or maybe we don't. Brilliant. Yep, can make a state, no issue with that. Okay, so actually, having gone inland and blocked them off here, it probably makes sense to start going along the coast to block them off down there. So the more coastal regions we can take, Mind you, they're not really blocked off, are they? Because they can just come this way. <sighs> and they're probably going to just be heading north. Oh my goodness, they really are as well. I think we may have lost Cascadia. It's a bit unfortunate. Still, you can't win them all. Maybe if we get powerful enough, we can actually start bullying Spain and taking land away from them. <sighs> not to worry. Anyway. Okay, good. Always good. Come around and pick you up because next we're going to go. Ooh. Let's go here next, because Great Britain is seriously trying to cut us off, and I feel like they could do with a taste of their own medicine. I mean, they really are going out of their way to cut us off now. <laughs> this is clearly intentional, which I thoroughly understand and kind of approve of, but um, still annoying. Okay, this is interesting. You get this if you get a certain pair of advisors. I think they're usually both financial. So yeah, yearly inflation, trade efficiency. So we have an option for 
and a vastly increasing mercantilism at the cost of stability, gaining administrative power or diplomatic power, quite a chunk of it, I mean it's not a bad thing, or gaining both, but losing both advisors. Yeah, in effect we can trade the advisors for power, which is good, but I think the five mercantilism might be worth it. So I'm going to go for that, I'm going to see if we can now well, let's get this new idea. Who diplomatic reputation, also very good. Can we increase our... Oh, we can. So we spent some admin power to boost our stability. No bonuses for that, but that's taken the cost of the extra mercantilism. Which I think will actually benefit us quite a bit, so well worth having. It's actually worth trying to get a couple of advisors of that nature in your admin and your diplomatic slots just for that event. So even if you're forced to lose them, you gain a decent chunk of power as well. Admin or diplomatic, or both. Okay. Oh, this is good. Looks like Canada is colonizing themselves now which is what we wanted so hopefully I mean I don't know if after doing this I might skip up here if we still can just to hopefully gain these two we can't get this one anymore Britain's cut us off but I'm hoping that Labrador themselves will colonize this bit if we don't get, off, get cut off first I don't know where the switch over comes between this and Cascadia? Hard to say. We'll just keep an eye on it. Play it by ear. Okay, how are my spies doing? Now that's fine, that's just because our colony started. Nothing new, I thought maybe they'd built a new colony. Fabricate a claim on Connecticut, which is good. That frees up our diplomat. If we fabricate a claim on Cusa, in theory, they could then colonise these two places. So let's do that. Finally, who was it we were actually after? Oh, these guys. Have a to claim on them. So the big question is going to be whether or not our colonial nations alone are able to win this. Because really, New Portugal might be standing more or less on its own. He's far from ideal. Hmm. Might go grab an army. Hmm. Ming considers us their rival. It's exciting. No, we've still got three rivals. Okay, so. Greatest military might. So we can gain administrative power and morale of armies, or we can gain prestige and morale of armies. Our prestige is at plus 58, so that would actually be well worth having. Obviously, we've wasted eight points of that, but... Uh, Still got us up to 100, which was worth having. Okay, Tunis no longer considers a rival. We've got the option to become Defender of the Faith again. Not sure how keen I am though. So how many troops can we take? 14. It's not 
terrible. I need a new general. He's pretty decent. Let's get a load. 14 troops. Bring them over to New Portugal. And they are going to be our primary attack against Cree, which is the biggest enemy. Also, we should have let the ships recover a bit. Never mind. I'm sure we will uh, have enough chance to recover. Let's just go there. And I'm going to call a diet. So, the nobility want Dahomey. Where's Dahomey? Right, so that's Africa. Don't have an army in Africa. Much as I would love to do it. Let's just check their allies though. Yeah, they've got a couple of allies as well. Control of lands in which spices are given. So this doesn't even appear to give us a Cassus Belly, which is a bit rubbish. And they just want us to invest in Lisboa. I think we'll go with that one, thanks. <laughs> Much easier. Even though a bit of a waste because they already have this institution. And obviously we're going to need to gain some more admin power before we can do it. Still, it is our capital. There we go. So we've got 10 loyalty, 10 prestige, which we didn't really need. Oh, Austria's the uh, Holy Roman Emperor now. I'll go with knowledge is power, thanks. It's interesting. Did we actually not lose the prestige? Is that because we'd gained some? I wonder if it actually keeps track of how far you've gone over. It's an interesting thought. I think the diplomacy does. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Can't do that yet. Right, let's um, make one more claim and then I guess we'll start the attack. It's very handy that Malik has made his arrival. Coco, very good. Okay, yeah, I've never entirely understood why we always put sugar in hot cocoa, but never in coffee. I mean, we do put in coffee, but I mean, hot chocolate is like, you know, I mean, in some ways, chocolate in its native form isn't that unlike coffee. It's kind of a bitter drink. So I've never been totally clear on why it is that we only seem to do sugar as a necessary part of one of them. Still, never mind. Right, let's do it. Assuming Creek is now an enemy, they are indeed. That might just go straight for the capital. Not sure which sea they're actually in here. No problem there. So as usual we want to, if possible, annex all of them and we want to do the other two before the one we've actually attacked. Little concern about Kree's armies. 
and we'll go up to face them as soon as I can but may as well get this castle done first because I wasn't sure where they were okay I'm gonna go ahead with this normally I wouldn't risk it but I don't think there are any armies anywhere near us Their fleet seems so small that I don't think we've got anything to worry about. So as soon as this castle falls we'll start trying to chase down these armies, especially that one. the largest army on the field at the moment. Okay, and the colonialism goes on. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Brilliant. Definitely what we wanted. And, uh, yes, make it a state. In Kulu, make it a core. And send the missionaries. <laughs> That's caused instability. It's a bit odd because none of it seems to be religion based, but not to worry. Hmm. Be it have an army in Hawaii. Great. I didn't realise over there. I should uh, definitely go pick those up. <laughs> okay, but well in the meantime, how are we doing here? So I might just take this land back. A Cherokee. All right, are they fighting two walls at the same time here? That's unfortunate. We might be in danger of losing that piece of land. Uh, spare no expenses. Still, not much we can do about it. making peace with them unless we can get some land from them. I'd quite like to let um, Creek have uh, have her army back just so they can gain this land back so we can take it instead of our other enemies but hey, what can you do? Okay, so in the meantime France is not a rival, although they seem to see us as a rival, so they're no use. Bohemia doesn't like Austria, but there's no reason why they can't like us. Ditto for the Ottomans. Ditto for Naples. And 
always want to be in with the Papal State. Okay, so we've got them, at least. So let's see if we can get them to... There we go. So that's gone to New Portugal rather than Labrador, unfortunately. Oh, brilliant. I wasn't sure we were going to get those lands then. It looks like we got them all. Absolutely fantastic. Everything we wanted. Let's so pull the army out again. Could try and take down these separatists, but I suspect a new Portugal can probably manage. Still. But we do need to get to our own land because we're currently exiled. Yeah, that's a shame. Never mind. This is a good bonus. But then I don't think we really needed it. It allows us to take more when we win in battle. And that's all. But we basically got everything then, so... So I'm kind of hoping they might be able to do some more colonising. Entirely up to them, obviously. But we've increased their power considerably, and... Of scope for additional colonisation should they wish to do it. With that in mind, let's check the subsidies. Yep, they don't have any, so I'm going to give them some. So I'm not sure what the dividing line is between the new Portugal area, which I think is Florida, and Louisiana. So they, they basically won't be able to colonise beyond a certain line and vice versa. So we're not actually really in a competition here. But hey, they've got the option. Uh, let's try to eradicate the problem. And I'm going to instantly try to boost stability again. So I do like having stability 3 where possible. So I'm hopefully going to get this army on the way back to Europe so we know where it is. And from there, might build a couple more manufactories, and then I think we'll call it a day. So I have gone over again. <laughs> Not as badly as the last two times, but still. So we start heading over there. Got everyone, that's good. And manufactories. Where should we build them? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> ah, right. Well, we don't currently have our ships, so... Let me do this one instead. The ship's are currently on the way to Europe. So I can't actually go across here without permission, and I doubt I will get permission. Okay, manufacturers. So I'm just going for the basic manufacturers this time. There are a number of alternatives that came out with the last patch. And they can be quite useful, potentially, but I do quite like the basic ones for now, which are giving us local goods produced. As a trading nation, they're quite high on our list. So Madeira would apparently benefit a lot from a manufactory. Not Madeira. This is Madeira. Let's build one there. And here as well. Santa Apollonia. Okay. That sounds like an island. It is an island. So they benefit from one, but they're not big enough, maybe? Oh no, they've got room. 
got a workshop an empty building plot oh we just don't have enough money <sighs> what am I thinking right brilliant so you'll often find that workshops will boost the productivity of manufacturers enormously they tend to go hand in hand so if there are any places we're building manufacturers that didn't already have workshops I suspect we'll find that they will have a big boost to building workshops which we will notice when we next look to build workshops but yeah brilliant okay so bit of progress there not tremendously dramatic I've always pleased about getting all that extra land for New Portugal that should make them considerably more powerful for the future and hopefully that will be reflected in their colonizing we've got Lavrador on the way which is great we've made a start near Malacca making some progress down here which is fantastic and we've started building the African army so our next thing is probably going to be well I mean I'm very keen on the manufacturers because they make us richer at the same time we're already doing quite well for riches but we'll see we'll see how it goes because we want to get richer to the point where we can have plus three advisors at all times Whereas at the moment we've got rather cheaper ones so I don't think we could afford that and we can still subsidize our colonies as needed and then also start building up the navy but yeah for the time being I'm a little bit inclined to focus on manufacturers we'll still keep building the navy and the army but maybe a little slower while we just get our manufacturers up and running but in any case I'll leave it there for now and um, yeah thank you for watching I will see you next time